Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be speaking to you about this 2006 Range Rover Sport. It's a Range Rover Sport supercharged, which means it comes with a 4.2 litre supercharged V8 engine, which produces about 270 kilowatts of power. It's black with black interior. Being the top of the range, it came with a number of extras, including Brembo brakes. Obviously, if you've got a big, heavy, powerful car like this one, you need to be able to pull up. The bodywork is in absolutely beautiful condition, and the same goes to the interior. You can see the very nice timber inserts, Harman Kardon sound. It also had side steps which are an option. It's nice to see a Range Rover Sport with timber and a V8. It is a Range Rover after all. Um, it also has navigation. It's even got off-road navigation. So you can see which way you're pointing the steering wheel. So sometimes the steering wheel might look like it's straight, but your front wheels are actually pointed off to the side. It's even got your center differential lock, your rear differential lock, um, hill descent control and it tells you what suspension setting you're on at the moment. At the moment it's on normal obviously. Another extra is rear entertainment which we'll have a look at shortly. Dual zone climate control, the train response program. So at the click of a button you can go to gravel, snow, mud ruts, etc. It also had Bluetooth which was very early on. 2006. Not many cars had Bluetooth at the time. I'll leave that. I'm just going to leave that key in so we can see the entertainment in the back. It's done 141,000 kilometres. It's also got the very nice factory rubber mats, which seem to be the only rubber mats which actually look any good. Uh, sorry, I've got no CDs in there at the moment but you can see it's got the factory screens in the back of the headrest there. Most of them are aftermarket because they were so expensive. It's got new Pirelli Scorpion tyres all around and it's also got the larger 22 inch wheels. Personally, I actually quite like the factory wheels that are 20 inches, but uh, yeah, people really seem to like the 22 inch wheels. Um, the carpets are also excellent. It's got the rear luggage cover, which is great. It may sound like an odd thing to say, but it hasn't had pets in it. Unfortunately, if you have had a wet dog in and out of the car over a period of time, that's a smell you'll never get rid of. It doesn't look like it's done a lot of towing. The supercharged Sport also came with this much larger nicer exhaust system with the chrome tips the same as what's on the Jaguar XJR it's got tinted windows the leather is absolutely excellent and if you're a fussy buyer this is a car you should definitely come and have a look at it's just been really well looked after has some great factory options it's always been a Sydney car and has been very well looked after it requires absolutely nothing at the present time. It's just had a couple of thousand dollars spent on the suspension, on a compressor, and I think a shock absorber or two. Um, I've driven a lot of Range Rover Vogues and Sports, and I drove this car, this particular car over the weekend just to try it out, and it was it really was spot on. I had it up to speed. I had it on the freeway up to 110, and uh, drove absolutely beautifully. The Sport. Supercharge also came with Xenon headlights, parking sensors front and back as well. Uh, look, there's a lot of people who, who are concerned with the fuel consumption. The good thing about the Supercharge Sport is uh, they are very reliable. With diesels, the tube, say the 2.7 litre in this era, was very underpowered. And with diesels, you've got turbos, glow plugs, you can have injector issues, you have to get them on the open road on a very regular basis. 
and you can actually work out your main, your running costs over time, I think you'll actually find the V8 is cheaper. It also comes down to, again, how you drive it. I, I uh, averaged 16.4 litres per 100 kilometres. Um, that was a mixture of around town. I did some very brief highway driving. But I like the colour combination. I love the fact it's got some timber, as a Range Rover should. And it's a V8 petrol, which, again, I think a Range Rover should be. If you have any specific questions about the car, please give us a call. We're contactable on 02956999999. And if you are looking for what we think is one of the best Range Rover sports supercharged available, this is it. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our video. We look forward to hearing from you soon and be happy to assist you with finance.